Good afternoon, we're live on the Trade Decorator Festival and it's week two. Um, this afternoon we're joined by Matt Burnham of Shaw Tape. He's here to demonstrate their market leading frog tape and what makes it special. Um, we've got a demonstration coming up and following that Matt will actually be live with us for a Q&A to take your questions. Um, for anybody that's new to the format, here on Crowdcast you can comment in the comments box. Please, um, if you do have a question, we'll be taking that in the next part of the session in our Q&A um, session. So please don't put any questions in this part as they won't transfer when we join Matt. Um, I will explain to you how it all works when we move to the live element of the show. So um, here we have the demonstration and I'll see you in a few minutes. Hi, I'm Matt from Shirt Tape. Today we're gonna to show you how you can use frog tape, painter's masking tape, as a tool to increase your productivity, efficiency, and ultimately lead to better profits for you. Frog is a completely unique product. Um, it has a polymer on the edge, which is as you can see, there is a white frost on the edge of the tape. Um, this polymer reacts instantly with the paint and sets a barrier to mean that you get a lovely, crisp, sharp light. So we'll demonstrate that now. So as with all masking tips, you apply, apply firmly, and then apply paint. And as with all masking tapes, you should remove the paint, the tape while the paint's still wet. What's happening at the minute, a chemical reaction is taking place along the edge of the tape. The polymer is in here. The polymer is called paint block. The polymer reacts with water to create a barrier. The paint, paint hits the edge of the tape and this reaction takes place hits and it sets instantly therefore giving you a crisp clean line so we'll now remove the tape from there and we'll see that, that reveals lovely sharp lines you will note that we have three types we have the green which is for multi-surfaces so that's for the glass, tiles, ceramics, untreated wood and cured paint. The yellow one is for delicate surfaces, so that's for wallpaper, new paint, new plaster. And the orange one is for gloss and satin paint, so when you're painting skirting boards, architraves, woodwork, things like that. Just a couple of differences between the uh, yellow and the green. So as we said, it's a delicate surface product, so that means that it treats the surface delicately. Um, it's a low tack tape. Again, you should remove the tape while the paint's still wet. And how we can prove that this is a low tack or a delicate surface, if you did that to a standard masking tape, then you'd never get it apart. But the adhesive always stays in the tape and therefore it's delicate on the surface. A couple of little tricks. If you're finding that you're getting what's known as a pull when it's damaging the surface underneath, if you heat it with a hairdryer, or a heat gun, something like that, that heat will soften the adhesive and help the tape remove cleanly. You should always test on an inconspicuous area first, just to make sure that you have um, a compatible surface. The reason why frog is uh, supplied in a box is the box is there to protect the edge of the tape. What you're using masking tape for is to get a straight line. The bit that gives you the straight line is the edge, but that's also the easiest part to damage. So if you damage the edge in any way, it's no longer a straight line. Kind of makes sense now. Um, so by replacing it back in its box as you're using it and as you uh, finish using it, um, that means you'll use an entire roll of tape. You think of how many times you've thrown a, 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 another brand of tape in your toolbox and it's got nicked on the edge and you've never used all of it. So that you use an entire roll of, uh, sorry, an entire roll of tape. The gloss and satin is when you're painting skirting boards and architraves, as I said earlier. Again, little trips on that because you can have two types of paint when you're painting woodwork. So it can either be a solvent-based product where you wash your brushes out in a white spirit or a brush cleaner, or a waterborne product where you wash your brushes out in a um, soapy water. If it's a solvent-based product, you need to run a damp cloth. You apply the tape and then run a damp cloth down the edge just prior to painting. And that means then that you'll get a lovely crisp straight line. It kickstarts a little reaction that we did earlier and will give you a lovely crisp finish. 
Um, they, they all come in two sizes, so they all come in a 24mm, which is a, an inch size, so that's all three across the board, and then they all come in a 36mm, which is inch, inch and a half. Um, the green one on its own is also available in a 48mm, so a two inch. Hi, so there you have it. There's our demonstration of frog tape. Um, we're now going to be joining Matt live in our Q&A. Um, what I did forget to mention is we do have a giveaway for this show. Um, we have 10 twin packs of the delicate surface masking tape from frog tape. So we'll be doing a draw for that and watch out on our social media channels to see if you're a winner. Um, what I'm going to do now is go into the live session what I need you to do is when this session stops, there is a green button beneath me which says join q and I need you to press that button. Don't press the red button that will be generated in the middle of the screen. As I say, it, you need to press the join q and button which is in green. Thank you. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us for the q and I think we had a glitch in the system there, so apologies it took a few more seconds than it should do. Um, I can see we've already got some questions in the ask a question box, which is fantastic. If you do have any questions, rather than type them in the comments box, um, could you hit that ask a question and just type your question there? It will he help me to keep track of the session and make sure I don't miss your questions. So let's have a look what we what questions we've got for you, Matt. Um, right, Andy says, will you ever sell in bulk boxes like other brands, like boxes of 24, etc.? cetera? Um, we do sell like that anyway into the retailer, so they are, they are available. Um, I'd be interested to know quite where you're buying them, um, Andy, but would, they are in boxes already, they're in, in, in sort of all cases. Okay, and... Um, Oh, we've got another, oh, there's the same question twice, actually. I'll just delete that, it's the same question. Okay, um, right. If um, you do want to come up and speak to Matt directly, you can um, come up on the screen and um, talk to us in person. If you, if not, I'll just ask your question for you. So if you would like to come up, just um, tell us in the comments and I'll bring you up to ask your question. Um, Brian Dennett says, you say to remove tape whilst the paint is still wet. What happens if you let it dry? Do you then have to retape for every coat? Um, best practice would be um, to, to retape for every coat. Um, if the paint, the reason why we say the paints or to remove the tape while the paint is still wet is that if you imagine you, you've painted over the, the top of the, the, the tape, and as you come to remove it away, if it's then set and dried, the paint's going to crack along the along the edges. You pull it away because it will have created a skin. So the perfect time is just as it's tacking off. is, is perfect. Um, but if you if you paint it with emulsion and it's re-softening again, you would be able to remove. If you if you do leave it and it's dried, one little trick that you can can do is to um, just run a blade down the edge of the tape. Um, so if we just try and demonstrate that for you now. So if we imagine that we've we've painted across here um, and, and the paint has dried because you got cold away, um, what to do is take a good quality blade and just cut down the lead edge down there just prior to removing. That will mean that you won't get the paint breaking across this part as you remove the tape away. Okay. Okay. That okay. Thanks for that. Um, just going back to Andy's question, yeah. he says um, he normally buys in Tool Station, and you can only purchase in singles from the likes of Tool Station. Okay. Um, well, we are in stock in most other um, outlets as well. Um, obviously, it's up to the retailer how they sell them. We can't um, sort of tell them how to sell it. But if, for example, you were to shop at, at uh, uh, the, the, the product is, is, in, is in PPG, the Johnson's Tech Centres, um, Crowns, Dumluxes, things like that. It is just about everywhere. Um, so we could always put you, maybe we take you know, your, your details, Andy, and, and put you in touch with somebody local to you that would, would sell in a box quantity, if that helps. Okay. And um, why is frog tape different to other masking tapes, Matt? Okay. So frog is different to every other masking tape because it has a coating on the edge. So if you saw on the demonstration, there is a little white frost on the edge of the tape. So that's the polymer, which is called paint block. So paint block is a unique um, 
polymer which is um, licensed to shirt tape, as is also to treat the edge of the tape. So um, no other masking tape has treatment on the edge like that because that infringes our patterns. So there is only frog tape with paint block and there is only frog tape with a treatment on the edge of the tape. Okay. Um, go, I think going back to Andy's question about buying in bulk, Kirsten's asking, um, can you get discount on them anywhere, I guess, if you're buying in bulk? Um, it would be a case of having a chat to whoever you either normally buy it from. Um, again, the bulk quantities, I'm sure somebody local to you would potentially do do a deal. Um, we can't um, obviously tell anybody at what price to sell them. We have to let the market um, decide that. But you will find that there are promotions sort of on there and it is up to the retailer to um, sort of communicate that to you. So you should find promotions sort of out and about there. Okay, we've got a question from Carly Phillips. Do you have any plans to make any narrower tapes like a 10 millimeter? Um, not short term, not in the frog tape. Um, be interesting to know why you would want it a little bit thinner. If anything else, we, we, we normally expect um, trade to, to want a, a slightly thicker tape rather than a thinner one. Um, but there isn't anything short term. But if, if the market's there, we would make it. But at the moment, we sell the 24 mils and we sell a 36 mil and a 48 mil. Um, the best selling is actually the 36. Um, okay. but, but if there's if there's demand there we will, we would would make it okay um and what is paint block how does how does it work okay so, so paint block is it's a it's a polymer um and it is like a, a so i don't know if you remember back on the demo we, we had have this on if you can see it there so it is like a powder um so the paint block is activated by water in emulsion paint so when the paint hits the edge of the tape there is a chemical reaction that takes place, and it's just an absorbent polymer. So as we as we hit the edge of the tape, that's now set. Huh. Um, so that's gone all the way through. See that? Okay. Yeah. So okay. Does that answer that? Yep. Um, I've got a question here from Anthony. He says, what happens if you leave the tape out of the plastic box? It depends where you leave it, <laughs> to, to be fair. Um, the box is there to protect the edge of the tape. So it's not really to stop it drying out or anything like that. You will see there are little holes in the box anyway. Um, so it, it's not really there to, to, to stop it drying out. Um, it's there to protect the edge. What you're using masking tape for is to get a straight line. And the bit that gives you the straight line is the edge. And if you damage the edge in any way, it's no longer a straight line. So the idea of the box is mainly there to help protect that edge, keep it nice and clean. Um, and then you can use an entire roll of, of tape. Okay. And how would I know which frog, frog tape to use? Okay. The instructions are um, sort of clear either on back pack um, or across the front of them. So we have the... Green, which is for de uh, for multi surfaces, that's things like glass tiles, ceramics, untreated wood, and cured paint. The yellow one is for delicate surfaces, so that's a lower tack one, so that's wallpaper, new paint, new plaster. Um, so it does say across the front, um, right. but also across the back as well. There's quite a bit of instructions on the back as well, so always read the instructions. Um, well, that's the last thing men do, apparently. Um, so, yeah, and then the orange one is for gloss and safety, so you're painting skirting balls and architraves and things like that. Okay. And how long can I leave frog tape before I paint? Um, you can leave, prepare, so you can leave the green one for up to 21 days. Um, so that's your sort of preparation time. Uh, so it's up to 21 days before you start getting adhesive breakdown. Um, the yellow one is a 60 day masking, so you can prepare up to 60 days uh, in front before you start getting any adhesive breakdown. And the orange is another 21 day masking. So it's preparation time is 21 days. And once you've painted, uh, remove the tape as soon as you can. Okay, I was just going to say how long um, after I've finished should I leave it, but you're saying it's as soon as you've finished, as soon as you can, you should finish. As soon as you can, yeah. Okay, because then it's still tacky, isn't it? It's not yeah, fully yeah. pure. Okay, so um, what do I do if frog tape, 
frog tip starts to pull the paint when I remove it. Okay, as it's if you're getting that sort of um, damage to the substrate underneath, one thing that you can do, and again, this is the same for all masking tips, occasionally you do get it. Um, so it means that the, the paint's not bonded to the surface in the first place. Um, but if you heat it with a hairdryer or a heat gun, that will help soften the adhesive and it'll come away a bit better. Um, it's a general rule for most masking tips, you'll have a very similar effect. Okay, I've got another question for you. Um, Kirsten Mitchell says, if you leave it out of the box, can you tell if the polymer has been activated? Um, you you can't, but it wouldn't, it would actually work again. Um, so it doesn't really matter, if, even if it's been sort of gone through the cycle once, it will it will go again. So if we, if we sort of see, obviously we've done, done that now, uh, and it would, it would have to get really wet, it wouldn't, it wouldn't just pick it up from the air um but even this now i mean it was still it's still still absorbing there okay and um why won't frog's tape stick to my surface um it would probably be down to um contamination on the surface so if it's any sort of dust or anything like that then it will be sticking to the dust rather than, than the surface um so best advice for that is to wipe down with um warm sort of water get it clean um if that doesn't work um then they start to step it up again maybe use some like sugar soap um but again follow the manufacturer's instructions on the sugar soap to make sure uh, the area is, is clean from dusting and grease same for all adhesives they need a relatively clean surface to, to stick to yeah okay i think um we've come to the end of our questions unless we've got any more from our audience does anybody else have anything that they'd like me to put to matt no Okay, Matt, do you have anything else that you'd like to tell us about frog tape before we finish? Um, I think, well, obviously, go out and buy it. Um, <laughs> so, um, if, if, guys, if you uh, best look in the uh, in the drawer, if you do have any queries or questions, we do have telephone numbers on back of pack as well, so we're always here to help um, along the way with that as well. Um, but it's where you really need that crisp, straight line, and then frog tape is is the tape that you need to use. All right, perfect. Thanks ever so much for joining us, Matt. And Thank thanks everybody for joining us for the session. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.